Hello and welcome back to Expedition Builds. Yeah, you know, I spent the last two days driving out from Chicago to St. George, Utah. And we're in St. George today, um, bright and early, to get uh, the new recon over to uh, Dixie Four Wheel Drive to have the lift installed. Now, of course, it's a pretty exciting time for me. I think one of the uh, biggest transitions, uh, the biggest modifications we make to our Jeeps is when we uh, select our lift components, uh, tires and wheels, and get those installed. Um, it's such a change uh, to a stock vehicle that I think it kind of represents one of the most, uh, one of the biggest, let's say. It represents one of the biggest, uh, most significant mods we do in terms of visual appeal and the way we can use our Jeep. So um, let's, get, uh, let's get Ruby over to Dixie Four Wheel Drive. Um, and we'll get this uh, stock 2020 recon in for a brand new lift um, and I'll run through you guys what I'm doing uh, why I chose what I chose and uh, I'll give you a, show you a step-by-step -step on um, how Dixie puts a, a lift on and kind of their philosophies on setting it up and so on so um, glad you guys are back with us uh, hope you find this enjoyable like I said, um, I haven't slept a lot in the past couple days, but I think I'm kind of running on uh, adrenaline and excitement right now, uh, thinking about the transformation that's about to take place on my stock Jeep. So stay tuned, more to come. As I take a quick stroll around the parking lot, I notice a few of the Jeeps that we ran the Rubicon Trail with a few weeks earlier. Stepping into Dixie Four Wheel Drive is like being a kid in a candy store. Alright, with my new recon turned over to the Dixie crew, it's time to get started on this lift. And here's a quick look at the components I'll be running on my build. Falcon SP2 3.3 fast adjust shocks, Falcon Nexus EF 2.2 steering stabilizer, Metal Cloak 3.5 inch game changer lift, as well as Fox Factory Race Series 2 front bump stops. I've decided to run a true beadlock on this build, and for that we've selected Fuel Colbert's 17 inch wheel. We're gonna wrap these in Nitto Ridge Grappler size 37 by 12 and a half with a D rating. While metal cloak lift, I ran a three and a half inch game changer on my previous JK and loved it. I'm a big fan of their zinc finish as well as their Duraflex bushings which dial out noise, vibration, and harshness, and allow for incredible articulation and flex for a short arm kit. All right, let's start by getting the stock suspension unbolted and out of the way. Now that we've got the stock suspension out of the way, we can turn our attention to the bump stops. This requires cutting the factory bump stop housing. 
They are laid out, cut, and then finished with a grinder to get them square. Now we can get the new lift components bolted on the Jeep. And here's a shot of the new Fox bump stops installed. I'm really excited to have these on the Jeep. They'll provide another layer of protection for that axle. This kind of attention to detail I absolutely love. Prior to coming into the lift install, I wasn't sure what steering linkage upgrades I was going to do. Bryce had a full metal cloak steering linkage in stock, so we decided to give that a try. The tie rod ends are one ton forged heat treated and feature anti-flop design. Here you can see the Falcon steering stabilizer going in. I really like the clean, simple design of the Falcon EF steering stabilizer. I also like that Terraflex tuned these to be Jeep specific. This should work well. Running a full set of upper and lower adjustable control arms allows us to center the axles correctly within the wheel wells as well as adjusting caster and pinion angles on the drive lines. This is important to get geometry back within factory spec and having your Jeep handle and perform correctly. Alright, time to get her on the ground for the first time with the new suspension under it. Next up, let's get those nittos on these new beadlocks. Part of the Dixie philosophy is to have one tech work on your Jeep. None of these tasks gets handed off to somebody else. Travis installed the lift, mounted and balanced the bead locks, as well as ensured that the lift was set up and dialed in correctly. Oh yeah, loving the look of this. And there she is. First time on the ground with the new lift and tires. Wow. My 2020 Recon came equipped with Jeep Performance Parts Tailgate Reinforcement Kit. To carry the weight of the new 37s, we're gonna be running TerraFlex's Alpha HD Adjustable Tire Carrier. This unit is beautifully made and I love how it relocates the center brake light down inside the wheel. Okay, after the first road test, Travis brings it back in the shop. First up is centering the steering wheel. Travis was impressed with the metal cloak steering linkage. He loved the design of the adjuster for the drag link, making it super easy to center the steering wheel. Next up, full flex of the forklift. This allows the text to ensure that the bump stops are correct, clearances are good, and all the new parts are playing nice together. Up she goes for the first time. Clear so far. All right, let's see what kind of flex we can get out of this brand new lift. Not bad for a short arm kit, right? 
This had me grinning like a child when I saw this. We measured just shy of 36 inches to the bottom of the tire. At full flex, steering is cycled back and forth, all clearances are checked. At this point, Travis isn't completely satisfied with the setup. So Ruby goes back on the lift one more time and more adjustments are made. This attention to detail is exactly why I came to Dixie four wheel drive. Jeep's here. What do you think? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's here. Honestly, it's yours. You know, so here's, first of all, thanks to you and the crew at Dixie. Um, I got to tell you guys, this is this big investment of getting them lifted and out of stock is, I think, that's the most impressive thing we get to do as Jeep owners. Like now, it's transformed. And and the other part of that is, you know, we make all these. I spend a lot of time talking, researching bouncing ideas off of you on what yeah. wheel, what suspension, what shock to run, you know, uh, what bump stop to run. And, and for so, what you do. Exactly. Not, not for what and I that do. Is, that's, <laughs> that's the big thing about the Dixie philosophy is, yeah. um, that was one of the first things Bryce said to me when we first met was like, let's talk about how you use your Jeep. And that's how we build your Jeep. And you said something to me that rang true with my first JK was, let's not put a bunch of parts on it. And then in six months, you're selling all those parts and, and you're back here doing something yeah. new. and. And so that was really good advice. And I think that helped you had a JK and you went through it a I little bit, all that. That but then, true. but you knew what you wanted by the time this Jeep came around Correct. a lot better. You still yeah. wanted a little bit of yeah. advice, I guess you could I did. say, but yeah, no, cause uh, you know, that's, that's what but you guys do. We're getting ready to go drive it. We've driven it once yeah. you've driven it. How, yeah. What do you think? It's uh, it's transformed. <laughs> I mean, and uh, you know, one of the things that uh, I'm really particular about like quiet, I don't want to hear rattles. Yeah, it's brand so new. How many miles are on? You drove it. I've got yeah, how many did it have when you on. picked it up, though? 400. Okay. Yeah. So you've so already put miles on it before the lift. Yeah. Now you've lifted and it. So the stock 33s, the setup. Um, right now, she's just a little bit stiff, but we got to get it dialed in. I got to work with the tire pressure. Yep. And adjust, and adjust the shocks. shocks yeah. Let's play with those. Tune in um, a little bit. Yeah, and get it set up. But I tell you what, it. Uh, I tell you one thing that really blew my mind. When the lift was on, wheels were on and they put it on the forklift and I saw it flex, I was grinning like a child. I mean, I just couldn't stop smiling. Well, yeah, and one, you know, we set it up for bump stops, you know, with this size tire, but running a Falcon shock versus a metal cloak yeah. suspension, you know, tying that together, yeah. but we also like to forklift flex it before we even go drive it, before we even go hit the trail, try yeah. to, yeah. you know, make sure everything's doing what it needs to do, your sway yeah. bar links aren't hitting into things, right. you know, any of those kind of things we could run into. Yeah. But no, and that's, everything cleared like it should on this. So that's, a, that's a good point. And you know, to be honest, uh, after the forklift test, you guys, Travis the Tech brought it down and made a few adjustments. You know, and yep. that's that. That's exactly why I'm here, um, because uh, you guys know what you're doing and you take the time to, to get it set up right. I mean, yep. anybody can bolt on parts. Well, um, we want I you can to bolt be on parts, but I can, <laughs> yep. you know, yeah, yeah but I can't set it up. You right. can have all right. the right parts and installed wrong and you have a terrible Jeep. You could have a few of the wrong parts done right and sometimes end up with a better thing. True, so it, very it, true. You could yeah. screw something up really fast. Yeah, too. very fast. So. And I think you mentioned, you touched on one point that, you know, a lot of times as Jeepers, we, we, we order all these parts and we put them together, but we don't know necessarily if they're gonna play well together. Well, you gotta remember, you're on yeah. a brand new Jeep. This thing's been out two years. Yeah. I mean, every every week it feels like a new product's coming out for them. Sure. So yeah. we're on that front end of it. You saw with my JL1, we were, yeah. we were chasing no one had a bumper yet, so we had to build our own That's bumper. Good, no one, yeah. we build our own suspension. No one had the yeah. bracket. Now you're starting to get more brackets, but you got to find out whose light bar works with who's yeah, this sure. and whose roof rack works yeah. with what, and yeah. you know whose suspension works with whose shocks and what spring rates work better. Now you know there's so many variables yeah. that yeah. that new vehicles come with. You know, yeah. and we have to learn yeah, that as we go, and we've yeah. kind of done quite a few. And yeah. you know, just like anyone, you're still you you should be learning every day, and we are. You know, yeah. we're doing enough yeah, differences absolutely. that we can get a better understanding of yeah, it. Yeah, good point. Well, it certainly so. shows. I mean, uh, the, my experience here is, uh, it's just the way you guys run it. First of all, 
the shop is warm and friendly. So yep. I love that. You know, you feel well, it's warm, warm outside, here. so it should be warm. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot in St. George. And then just the expertise, the professionalism. Everybody I interacted with in the shop yeah. was. I mean, you built a, built a great crew here, and it's been, well, we have been a, a wonderful experience. We have the same passion. You yeah. Know? From point. the end user to the, yeah. the guys in the shop, we, we live for what we do. We, yeah. we build vehicles. We off-road our own vehicles. Yeah. Like you just saw one of them just got a new Jeep today. You yeah. know, and so yeah. the answer is we're all in that same family, and we want it yeah. to be. We're, we're friends. Yeah? yeah. Yeah, we're family. That's good. Good so. point. Well, so well, let's go get it dirty. Get yeah, thing, let's uh, go get it dirty and uh, get it broken in a little bit. But uh, yeah, hey, thanks, man. It I'm glad we finally got pleasure. a chance yeah, to do we it. Got it done. So yeah. thank you. Yeah, All let's right. look forward to seeing some dirty pictures of it. Now. Let's do it. Thanks. Wow, and how's this for breaking in a brand new lift on a brand new Jeep? A night run on West Rim Trail. Time to make some new friends and see what Ruby can do. Got it? Got it, thank you. Stay on this line? Yeah. Yep. Keep going past the curve. It's going to pick up right now. Go ahead. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, Sean. You're off a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what an amazing week this has been. Ruby's been transformed with a new lift, tires, and wheels. Getting to work with Dixie Four Wheel Drive was super great. And to top it all off by being out on the trail with them for this night run, it's just over the top good. Until next time, stay safe and we'll see you on the trails. Ah, oh, suspension is so good.